Hey there, I'm Karen, and I am so excited to be your host as we celebrate you. Welcome to the 2022 Central New York Scholastic Art Virtual Awards Ceremony. Yeah, we're virtual again. We won't be able to see you walk across the stage to get your award, but Throughout this ceremony, we will see all of your gold key and special award-winning works. We'll even hear from some of you. Before we get started, we must thank M&T Bank. They've been our program sponsor for 13 years. And Onondaga Community College, our host site for 23 years. We would not be able to do all that this massive arts program requires without their support. More from m and and OCC in a bit. But first, let's get started with a look at last year's national winners. I'm Casey Crable, president of Onondaga Community College, and we're standing in the Whitney Building on the campus of OCC, where we are all very fortunate to experience the Scholastic Art Exhibit. Thank you for putting your art all around our campus. I'm so sorry that we can't celebrate this art together in person, but I want to congratulate everyone who's on display here at OCC for your hard work, your dedication, and your commitment to your art. Congratulations and well done. Awards are like icing on the cake, and it's our local businesses and organizations that provide that sweetness. Best Photography Portfolio is our first special award. Only seniors are eligible to enter a six-piece portfolio, and judges look for original work and creative vision. Lightwork sponsors this award. They support artists through exhibitions, lectures, classes, artist residencies, publications, and other related projects. We are grateful they continue a tradition of recognizing outstanding work in photography by honoring the Gold Key portfolio selected as Best in Show. This year's Lightwork Award goes to Madeline Demand 
of Chittenango High School. The theme of my portfolio is firefighting. Um, I've grown up um, with parents that were firefighters their whole life and my brother Billy is now a firefighter and I feel like growing up I, I saw what they did and I've always really, I loved it. I thought it was really cool but I've never really wanted to be a part of that personally and I've always really liked photography so I feel like a way to kind of connect with my family is doing it my way and kind of putting it into an art form and I feel like firefighting is a very beautiful thing. Winning the Gold Key portfolio gave me a lot of confidence because I never in my life was really good at anything. I was never really athletic. I was never a straight A student, but it, winning the award really showed me that I am good at something and I do have a purpose. My first painting was of a street and it was like really dark, um, it was rainy, and I had a lot of fun like making it as dramatic as possible. So, and I was like, why? And it's because I like to convey the theme of like isolation. When I was in eighth grade, I got my first Scholastics Award and I remember seeing those seniors and they got a lot of awards and like their portfolio and I was like how do you do that so it's just like exciting being that senior. Uh, my portfolio is more about like going around um, the city um, and finding spots um, that I think that are absolutely wonderful but they they don't look the best. I really like broken down, rustic um, places and things. Uh, I think that seeing photos online and social media has gotten me kind of motivated to become a photographer. I'm planning on going into photography next year in the fall and then transferring. The next two awards, sponsored by Clayscapes Pottery and Independent Potters Association of Central New York, honor outstanding work in ceramics and glass. Clayscapes Pottery Award for Best Creative Design goes to Hannah Cooley, Carthage High School, and Independent Potters Association of Central New York Award for Best Functional Design goes to Avery Durantini, East Syracuse Manoa Central School. Sage Scholars Educational Foundation just joined us this year with four awards. Best work in printmaking goes to Michael Bestel, Lafayette Junior Senior High School. Best work in digital art to Jennifer Dong, Fayetteville Manlius High School. Best 
2D Junior High Work to Jennifer Daum, Union Springs Middle School and Best 3D Junior High Work, Victoria Colucci, Whitesboro Middle School. My portfolio is a series of six paintings which demonstrate how even after something loses its purpose on this earth, it still has a purpose with nature because no matter how far something like a car or a person can stray from their original connections with nature, they still can come back to the earth and contribute to nature's purpose. And winning the gold key on this portfolio means so much because it's such an honor to get this high recognition. And it's just, it's really validating to me to see that my art skills are progressing and my artwork is getting better and, you know, it's all about improvement, so it's, it's really nice to see that that's actually happening. In my photography portfolio, I wanted to capture the art of dance. Dance is an art form that involves movements and poses, and it really is a juxtaposition between delicacy and beauty and the strength and the muscles that the dancers are required to have. I was really inspired by my sister, who is a dancer, and she often found that dance was her escape from the world. I wanted to be able to convey such a dynamic art form into still images and really convey this sense of movement and the sense of stretching and the sense of muscles and power. And it feels as though I have successfully been able to put my six images together to have a deeper meaning and tell a story. Purcell Construction Corp has also joined us this year offering the award for best work in architecture and industrial design. It was awarded to Ava or Pearl, Marcellus Senior High School. There are more special awards judged to be the best of the best in their specified category. Syracuse University Newhouse School Visual Communications Department sponsors two scholarships. The Photography Vision Award goes to Om Patel, Fayetteville Manlius High School. And the Design Vision Award goes to Ella Rivette, Chittenango High School. Michael Field and I am the president of the Central New York Scholastic Art Show. You are going to see a great art show today. We've got wonderful students, wonderful pieces of artwork, and we are the largest regional show in upstate, actually the whole state of New York. We have 14 counties who participate trying to get artwork in the show. 
We have over a hundred combination of middle and high schools that try and get their artwork in the show. And if you have a student who gets an honorable mention, a silver key or a gold key, they are the best. So we've had over 4,000 entries to be judged in 17 different categories. We doubled our entries for this year. This is a strong show with great work. I have to thank OCC for their continued support. Uh, also m and Bank, who's been with us and supported us financially and in every endeavor that we've had in the last 10 years. And I also got to thank the families for helping their students get to this point. Uh, I want to thank the teachers that work in the classroom with our students. I want to thank our teacher volunteers, our judges who volunteer their time to judge the artwork, and all the people in this group, the Central New York Art Council group, who put in a lot of time and effort to make this show happen. Uh, hey, enough of me. Let's go see the show. Thank you for your support. Thank you for looking at the show. You're going to love it. Thanks a lot. Take care. Winning a gold key at Scholastics is a fantastic accomplishment. For Caden Stewart from Nord Norfolk, it is a truly inspiring story. Caden was born with cone rod dystrophy, leaving him with no central vision and extreme light sensitivity, making him legally blind. Caden is a high honor roll student, all while learning Braille. He loves art. His favorite medium is digital art where he uses an Apple iPad and Procreate. He loves this medium because he can zoom in and see the details of his work. To win a Scholastic's gold key as a blind person, it's the greatest thing I've ever accomplished. And the fact that I got one competing with people that can see, that just proves that you can do anything. The John D. Barrow Art Gallery in Skinny Atlas is home to over 400 oil paintings by the noted second generation Hudson River School artist John D. Barrow. This year, the award for best portrait goes to Madison Hopert, Lowville High School. The Tracy L. Haler Craftsmanship Award recognizes outstanding craftsmanship achieved in any of the arts categories. And this year the award goes to Sydney Scanlon of Homer High School. We can never have enough special awards from our generous local sponsors. And this next award recognizes the best effort in photography and it's sponsored by Rudy Hellman Photography. In remembrance of Rudy's dad, Ron, the Ron Hellman Photography Award for Best Photo goes to Giovanna Salvatore of North Syracuse Junior High School. Syracuse Cultural Workers is a Syracuse-based national publisher of message-oriented resources. They sponsor this next award because they want to recognize art that raises awareness and inspires debate in the areas of peace, social justice, diversity, and respect for our fragile earth. The Peace and Justice Award goes to Caitlin Sacco, Charles W. Baker High School.
The theme of my portfolio deals with the mechanisms people use when faced with anxiety, social pressure, adversity, and other stressful situations. I wanted to communicate that people deal with their environment and situations in very different ways, and it's all valid and should be normalized in society. Each piece represents a different way people can cope. It is amazing to receive recognition for your work, as it makes you feel like all the effort and hours you've poured into your pieces has really paid off. The Art Store has come on board with two awards. The Best Painting Award goes to Laura Scalzetti, Fayetteville Manlius High School. And the Art Store Best Drawing Award goes to Kendall Chambers, Tully Junior Senior High School. Hey, don't go away. OCC Awards are up next. Hi, I'm Glenn LaPointe, and it's my pleasure to represent the Onondaga Community College Foundation Board of Directors and Scholarships Committee in presenting the Best Fine Arts Portfolio and the Teacher Inspiration Awards. The OCC Foundation provides more than $1.4 million in scholarships, academic, and other programming support to Onondaga students. And like the Scholastic Art Council, we are committed to local students and dedicated to excellence in education. With that, I'll begin by recognizing the winner of the Onondaga Community College Award for Best Fine Arts Portfolio, Melina DeSilvio. Melina is a senior at Henniger High School, and I believe this is the first time this award has gone to a Syracuse City school. As we congratulate her, let's also extend kudos to her art teacher, Mike Field. So when I first kind of started thinking up ideas for the Scholastics, I think I was definitely looking a little bit too hard and it became kind of overwhelming. So it forced me to kind of reassess where I was at the time and think of reference that was actually realistic for me to obtain. And it worked out really well because it created something that's really personal, but it's so, something so memorable and something that people can look at and remind of themselves. And Winning the Gold Key Portfolio has been genuinely so special to me because I tend to have a really hard time appreciating my own art and this has kind of forced me to take a step back and look at the growth that I've made. You know, it's always important to continue to grow, but it's important to recognize where I am right now and this has been so important to me. In partnership with the Central New York Art Council, the OCC Foundation is proud to give this next award, the Nicholas Todesco Inspiration Award. As a teen, Nick won Scholastic Awards himself. When he taught art in Central New York at Blodgett, West Hill, Lafayette, and OCC, he supported the Scholastic competition, and over the years, his students earned gold keys in every major category of the competition at local and national levels. As a teacher, he believed there's genius in every student. In keeping with Nick's values and legacy, the Scholastic Teacher Inspiration Award is given to an educator who inspires students to enter the Scholastic Arts program and is a credit to his or her profession by encouraging young artists. The honoree receives a gift certificate for art supplies from the Art Council and then selects a worthy student who will receive a $500 OCC Foundation scholarship for art education right here at Onondaga Community College. 14 years of continued dedication to this Arts Award program is why tonight's honoree has been chosen. 
from preparing students for the show and doing many of the behind the scenes work, which includes active participation with the Scholastic Advisory Committee, serving as secretary and treasurer, volunteering to head judging stations, all the coordination that goes into entering students' work into the Scholastic Art Program, and much more. This teacher's devotion is greatly appreciated. She earned her bachelor and master's degree in art education at SU. She began teaching at Whitesboro and since 2008 at her current school has been teaching photography, ceramics, and advanced studio art. Because she believes you should help where you can, she also lends her talents to the school's yearbook and ski club. Her motto is try new things, challenge yourself. You don't know what could happen when you do. She practices what she preaches. Join me in applauding Katie Sullivan from New Hartford Senior High School, our Nicholas Tudesco Teacher Inspiration Award recipient for 2022. Hello Scholastic Art Award recipients. Welcome to my classroom here at New Hartford High School. As you might have already heard, I have been involved with the Scholastic Art Awards for several years now. And each year, I am constantly amazed at all of the beautiful work that you create and choose to submit to the show. Your hard work and the dedication of both you and your teachers, it doesn't go unnoticed. And it is what I believe helps to make this show truly possible. I would like to thank the Art Council and all of the people involved with the Scholastic Art Program for making this show, year's show possible, as it is truly an honor to be nominated for and to receive this year's Inspirational Teacher Award. Thank you again and congratulations again to all of the award recipients. So my portfolio was called Silent Agony and I kind of based that off the fact that when the pandemic started I saw like the impact it had mentally and physically on everyone and mostly on my family. Sometimes photographs like it can speak volumes because um, some feelings like you can't convey them through words so by potentially like taking photographs of these emotions I can like help unite the community into a common feeling. Or like I remember from a young age I would go to OCC and watch the exhibition and for me like all those gold keys were my inspiration and now having gotten a gold key I would love to be like an inspiration for other people. Last but not least of our special awards are five American Visions nominees. They were judged to be the best of show from all the individual Gold Key winners. One of these five will then be chosen by an esteemed panel of judges at the national level, and they'll receive the American Visions Medal for the Central New York region. We welcome and thank the Print Hub Syracuse for sponsoring these awards. The five American Visions nominees are Emma Miadner, Jamesville DeWitt High School, Laura Scalzetti, Fayetteville Manlius High School. She has two pieces. Nick Trivelpiece, Manlius Pebble Hill School, and Bryn Whitman, Auburn High School. Thank you for watching. We hope that this year's virtual awards ceremony was worth every moment of your time. Don't forget to visit Onondaga Community College for the 1300 piece exhibit going on through March 4th. The Everson Museum of Art will have a selection of works on display from March 12th through April 10th. And finally, fingers crossed, 
for all of the gold key winning works that are going on for consideration at the national level. Thanks again. Stay safe.